Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. American Comics. Past Life Revealed. I am actually Big Big Wolf. Chapter 31. Speaking of this, Man Yang Yang's old face was full of pride. The superheroes at at the moment looked stunned. His eyes were full of surprise. With the first two exposures, this world that looks like a children's cartoon has completely aroused the curiosity of many superheroes. Not just among the superhero group, but now in the entire Blue Star, the most discussed thing is this magical world. Green Grassland and Big Big Wolf have become a global hot spot. There has even been a fan group for one of the characters, and fans of Big Wolf definitely make up the majority. Thor's eyes lit up. Sacred Weapon. Just by hearing this name, you know it must be something extraordinary. Dr. Banner analyzed seriously. You must know that the Wolf Tribe and the Sheik Tribe are both the pinnacle races in this world. It is normal for there to be artifacts in this sheep village. The popular science duo nodded in approval. Indeed, we used to look down upon the world too much. The level of technology in this world is no less advanced than the world we live in. It's even more magical than our world in terms of existence. The analysis of several people immediately aroused everyone's expectations. They all wanted to know what kind of existence could be called an artifact by the sheep clan. But looking at the proud slow sheep, all the lambs showed scornful expressions. Lazy Yang Yang said with disdain. Stop talking nonsense. Village chief. What an artifact. Why have we never heard of it? Don't fool us with this kind of thing that fools a three-year-old child. Not only lazy sheep, but other lambs also dismissed slow sheep's statement. Then he turned around and left. Only a group of superheroes watching the light screen were left stunned. There are two words written on everyone's face. Awkward. Thor, who was very nervous, looked unhappy. The idea of fooling a three-year-old child. What does it mean? The thing about this artifact is actually fake, and these little sheep don't believe it. We were so stupid that we believed it. Isn't this saying that we are three-year-olds? Thor's words will undoubtedly ruthlessly remove everyone's last fig leaf. Everyone's vicious gazes immediately hit Thor's face. If looks could kill, Thor would have been cut into pieces by now. You don't speak. No one treats you as a mute. At this moment, the scene above the light curtain changed again. At the entrance of Yankun, outside the wall, the figure of Big Big Wolf ran at great speed from a distance. Inside the gate, several lambs looked panicked when they saw Big Big Wolf arriving. The Big Big Wolf is here again. Pleasant Goat looked calm. Don't be afraid, everyone. With the protection of the wall, Big Big Wolf can't get in. The boiling goat on the side did not agree with Pleasant Goat's words. Pleasant Goat, even if this wall is impenetrable, Big Wolf hangs around here every day, so it's inevitable that he will find a way in. Boiling Sheep's statement also aroused the recognition of many lambs. After all, there is no way to guard against thieves for a thousand days. Just when all the lambs were frowning, an old voice suddenly came from behind the lambs. Don't be afraid. I'm coming, village chief. I saw slow sheep holding something like a green staff and walking away towards a group of lambs. Don't be afraid. This is the divine staff of our sheep tribe. With it, big gray wolf is no match for us. Seeing the scene on the light screen, all the superheroes suddenly beamed with joy. The arrogant little expressions on the faces of the popular science duo appeared again. Did you see it? How could there be any problem with our analysis? There must be a divine weapon among this sheep tribe. As a peak race, how can there be no treasure at the bottom of the box? The awkward expressions of a group of people have long been forgotten. Looking expectantly at the staff in slow sheep's hand. At the same time, Big Big Wolf has also arrived at the gate. Looking at the magic staff in slow sheep's hand, Big Big Wolf dismissed it. What a magic stick. Old guy. Don't bluff me here. Manchu Yang Yang snorted coldly. In that case, let me show you the power of the Sheep Clan's divine staff. The next second, Slow Sheep waved the magic staff in his hand. With the waving of the magic staff, a huge amount of stone not far away trembled slightly. This stone is 10 meters square and looks like a hillside. In an instant, the huge boulder rose into the air and shot towards the direction of Big Big Wolf. This exaggerated scene immediately frightened Big Big Wolf, and he quickly nodded and ran away. And seeing the effect of this magic staff, all the superheroes were also dumbfounded. 
Iron Man Tony pushed up his glasses. As expected of a divine weapon, the function of this divine staff should be to control other objects. This stone is so huge, it probably weighs hundreds of tons. Even if I'm wearing a super armor, I can't move this huge amount of stone. I'm afraid the only ones here among us who can lift this stone are Banner and Thor. Banner nodded in agreement. Indeed, even for Hulk, it would be difficult to lift this stone. Thor on the side rarely expressed his opinion at the moment. In fact, Thor doubted he could lift such a huge amount of stone. As the big big wolf was scared away, all the lambs were immediately overjoyed. Awesome, village chief. I didn't expect this magic staff to be real. With this magic staff, Big Big Wolf will never dare to come here again. Even if he comes, we are not afraid. With the magic staff here, Big Grey Wolf is no match for us. But the lazy sheep at the moment curled his lips. Village chief, since we have this magical weapon in Yangkun, why didn't you take it out earlier? Then wouldn't we not have to be afraid of the Big Big Wolf? Faced with Lazy Yang Yang's question, Manchu Yang Yang smiled awkwardly. Actually, this is not a sheep clan artifact at all. It's true that I'm talking nonsense. The artifact doesn't exist. I just made it up. It is indeed the same trick I used to fool a three-year-old child. Mananyang Yang's words immediately made all the superheroes look condensed. They all looked at the slow sheep in the light curtain with fierce eyes. The straight-tempered Thor immediately cursed. What is this old sheep doing? Even we believed what he said at first, but then those little sheep said that this artifact didn't exist. Now that the artifact is out, he actually said it's not an artifact. He really treats us like three-year-olds. Is he playing with us? Thor's words undoubtedly made all the superheroes present extremely embarrassed. In just a few minutes, they were tricked twice by a group of lambs. Three-year-old children, these four words hit their hearts like a sledgehammer. In the next second, everyone's fierce eyes turned to Thor again. Thor, can't speak. You can shut up. The good old Dr. Banner quickly spoke to persuade. Don't be excited, everyone. Although this slow sheep said that this magic staff is not a magical weapon. But it is undeniable that the ability of this divine staff is still very powerful. To describe it as a divine weapon is not an exaggeration. Banner's words undoubtedly helped everyone save some face and above the light curtain at the moment. Listening to Slow Goat's words, Pleasant Goat asked. Chief Manyongyang Village, since this is not a divine weapon, what happened just now? Slow Sheep smiled proudly. Actually, this is the miniature crane I just invented. Look. The next second, a round object the size of a fly flew out from the boulder and soon arrived in front of Manyongyang and others. It's so small that you can't even notice it without looking carefully. Pleasant Goat then took out a magnifying glass and looked carefully. And this thing that was only the size of a fly file turned out to be a pink round crane, with a pair of wings spread out on the pink round body and waving. Floating in the air. As this scene happened, all the superheroes were stunned. Looking at the light curtain in the sky, I felt lost. His eyes were filled with a look of astonishment. For a moment, it was as if time had stopped. My hair. What? Is this a crane? Your crane can lift hundreds of tons of boulders. Your crane is too many. You said this thing is not an artifact. Then what is an artifact? My hammer. Thor's loud voice suddenly echoed throughout the entire building. Only then did all the superheroes who were in shock be pulled out. Dr. Banner shook his head in disbelief. Oh my god. Such a small thing can lift hundreds of tons of weight. It can also fly quickly in the air. This is not an artifact. What is an artifact? This is simply magical and unreasonable. The popular science duo on the side looked lost at the moment. This terrible thing was actually invented recently by this old sheep. This old sheep is actually an inventor. And he can also invent this kind of artifact that can no longer be described as high tech. We are not even as good as an old sheep. Everyone was amazed at the terror of this miniature crane. And at the moment the scene above the light curtain changed again. In the gloomy and dark forest, the dilapidated wolf castle came into view. The panicked big big wolf ran in from the gate. Seeing grey wolf's grey face and empty hands, red wolf, who was putting on makeup, suddenly became furious. As soon as big big wolf entered the room, an afterimage instantly crossed the space. It is the iconic weapon of red wolf. Pan. Bump. The pan hit big big wolf's head accurately. 
We didn't catch the sheep again. Big big wolf. Why did you come back if you didn't catch the sheep? The roar of the red wolf resounded throughout Wolfsburg. Seeing this scene, everyone in the American comic world suddenly froze on the spot, with doubts in their eyes. Black Widow, what's going on? Wasn't this red wolf hit by the reverse hammer and his character changed? Why has it become such a fierce look now? Wanda, that's right. Even if the reverse hammer has a time limit, Grey Wolf can still use the reverse hammer to change Red Wolf's character again. Female Superman, I have some different opinions. I once heard someone say that if you love someone, you must love everything about him. Love his strengths and accept his shortcomings. Maybe what Grey Wolf loves is the fierce Red Wolf. Female Spider-Man, I think so too. If the person I love becomes the perfect image in my heart, will he still be the person I love? Jane, is this Mr. Grey Wolf's preference for Red Wolf? I envy the Red Wolf so much. How could someone like Mr. Big Wolf love her deeply? All female superheroes couldn't help but feel extremely disappointed. Although each of them hates Red Wolf, they all want to become Red Wolf. Looking at the angry Red Wolf, Grey Wolf looked aggrieved. Honey, those little sheep actually took out a staff that can control other objects. It's because I wasn't prepared enough. I'm going to invent something that can fight this staff right now. As soon as he finished speaking, Big Big Wolf ran directly towards his research room. Seeing this scene, all the superheroes suddenly became wrapped. Dr. Banner frowned. This micro crane is so tyrannical and unreasonable. With such a small size, it can erupt with such terrifying power. It is simply a technology that we cannot understand. It is extremely difficult to develop an invention that can counter this micro crane. I'm afraid even inventing the big big wolf will take a long time to research. The popular science duo nodded, obviously agreeing with Banner's statement. Hundreds of tons of boulders, coupled with such terrifying acceleration, I am afraid that a single impact can destroy a small town. At least in our world, no technological product can withstand such a horrific attack. Mr. Big Big Wolf has encountered a huge problem this time. Above the light curtain, following the figure of Big Big Wolf, he entered the room. Suddenly there was a burst of fire and lightning in the room. A few minutes later, the door suddenly opened. A figure walked out of the room. It's Big Big Wolf. At the moment, Big Grey Wolf had already put on a black armor. It's just that the shape of this armor looks very funny. The head of the armor is a round helmet. The details on the face look like a cat, but the decoration above the head looks more like a sunflower. It's just that this armor is not a full coverage style, it just has armor on the helmet and limbs. There is also a purple gemstone inlaid on the belt. No matter how you look at it, it looks like an unfinished product that has been welded together. Seeing what was happening above the light screen, all the superheroes were stunned on the spot. He looked at the light curtain high in the sky with a confused expression. His eyes were full of disbelief and astonishment. Thor, who was wide-eyed, asked Hawkeye Barton beside him in confusion. Barton, you have good eyesight. Did you change the scene just now? At the moment, Barton's eyes widened, his mouth opened, and he shook his head in shock. No. Listening to Barton's answer, the popular science duo were stunned for a moment. Let's put it this way. In the two minutes we were discussing, Big Big Wolf invented this suit of armor. The truth of the matter has emerged. Suddenly there was a big earthquake in the hearts of all the superheroes. Thor shook his head in disbelief. Oh my god. In two minutes, Big Big Wolf invented this set of armor. Two minutes. I'm afraid it's not even enough for me to go to the toilet. Two minutes is enough for what? Barden on the side showed a strange smile. Two minutes, and it's over for you Thor. Barton's backstab immediately made Thor's face darken. Dr. Banner looked solemn. This is indeed incredible. A set of armor can be made in two minutes. Mr. Grey Wolf's ability is simply appalling. But there really isn't anything eye-catching about this armor. Hearing this, everyone's eyes immediately focused on Tony. When it comes to super armor, obviously no one has a stronger say than Iron Man Tony. Tony adjusted his glasses and looked carefully at the armor on Grey Wolf. Hem, in my opinion, this armor is made entirely of black metal. As for that metal, I obviously don't know about it. However, it seems that the defense should not be low. From the outside, the structure should be very simple. 
After all, this is just a set of partial armor. There are no traces of any energy transmitter on it, so it shouldn't be capable of flight or energy impact. It's amazing to be able to make these metals look like this in such a short time. It is obviously unrealistic to create a fully functional armor. Listening to Tony's analysis, Dr. Banner on the side also expressed his own opinion. Indeed, this time is too short. However, that micro crane is truly an artifact. Whether this armor can withstand such huge amounts of force is yet to be seen. But looking at Mr. Big Wolf's proud expression, I believe the defense should be quite high. Listening to the analysis of the two, everyone nodded. And above the light curtain at the moment, the armored gray wolf looked proud. Honey, this is the invincible steel armor I just invented. With it, I don't have to be afraid of the lambs, magic sticks. Although it looks indestructible. In fact, it is indeed indestructible. While speaking, Big Big Wolf punched the wall in front of him, and a big hole was blasted out of the wall. Big Big Wolf continued to proudly introduce his invincible steel armor. Although he looks very clumsy. In fact, he is as light as a swallow. The next second, Big Big Wolf made a 720 degree spin on the same spot. Perfect landing. Looking at the scene above the light screen, all the superheroes cast admiring glances at Tony. Tony is indeed a peerless genius in armor, and there are no problems in his analysis. The defense of this armor is really powerful. And Mr. Big Wolf didn't say that this armor has other abilities. Although Mr. Big Wolf has made great achievements in other fields, there is still a gap between Mr. Tony and Mr. Tony in terms of armor. Listening to everyone's praise, Tony felt proud. I said that trying to create a super armor involves too many aspects. If you give Big Wolf enough time, you may be able to create comprehensive armor. It's a pity that the time is too hasty. It is quite good to be able to create this kind of armor. Tony's tone sounded like he was evaluating students. Above the light curtain, Grey Wolf, wearing invincible steel armor, looked proud. But at this moment, a black shadow suddenly attacked. It's Red Wolf's exclusive weapon pan. Grey Wolf, who was wearing invincible steel armor, had a cold look in his eyes and punched out. Directly pierced the flying pan. Big Big Wolf slowly took down the pan with a stern look on his face. Then he threw it out. Did you see, my wife, this? Just when Grey Wolf was proud, he didn't realize that he actually threw the broken pan at Red Wolf. Looking at the broken pan in his hand, Red Wolf narrowed his eyes. Just when Big Big Wolf was proud, a black shadow directly bombarded Big Big Wolf at lightning speed. The armored Grey Wolf was directly beaten away. Fly through the wall he just broke and fly into the forest. At the same time, the roar of the Red Wolf sounded in Wolf Castle. So much nonsense. Why don't you hurry up and catch the sheep for me? Seeing this scene, all the superheroes were stunned. Thor's voice sounded. This Red Wolf is really tough. He actually beat Mr. Grey Wolf away. This Red Wolf's strength looks even more terrifying than Mr. Grey Wolf's. The good old Dr. Banner nodded slowly. This is normal. In the previous introduction, I once said that Mr. Grey Wolf was expelled from the Wolf Clan because of his low skills. Obviously, in terms of physical strength, Mr. Grey Wolf should be the bottom of the Wolf Clan. Otherwise, it would be impossible to crush these lambs in terms of hand-to-hand -hand combat. Since Mr. Grey Wolf's physical strength is at the bottom among the wolves, it is normal for Red Wolf to be stronger than him. But Tony at the moment frowned. I feel that Mr. Big Wolf's armor may not be able to withstand the mini cranes of the lambs. From the performance just now, the power of this armor is not very strong. Compared with the operation of breaking the wall, I am afraid that Mr. Big Wolf can do it without armor. After all, this micro crane is too terrifying. It can lift hundreds of tons of boulders. And it can also fly at a very fast speed. This is too unbelievable. Listening to Tony's analysis, many superheroes are also quite worried. And above the light curtain at the moment, Grey Wolf, wearing invincible steel armor, was falling into the forest. The next second, Big Big Wolf slowly stood up. The angry voice slowly came out. You lambs, prepare to accept the punishment of King Big Big Wolf. As the voice sounded, a terrifying aura suddenly erupted from Big Big Wolf's body. Wisps of black energy slowly appeared from Big Big Wolf's body. In an instant, strong winds sprang up. 
The towering trees all around were trembling crazily. Big Big Wolf slowly stood up and reached out to support a big tree nearby. The moment the armor's covered palms touched the tree, the tree, which was thick enough for a person to surround itself, exploded instantly. The thick tree trunk suddenly turned into powder all over the sky. A sense of oppression like a god or a demon filled the entire screen. Seeing such a shocking scene, all the superheroes suddenly lost control of their expressions again. He stared blankly at the figure exuding overwhelming pressure above the light screen. Suddenly, the time stop phenomenon happened again. Not just a group of superheroes, but even people on the entire blue star stopped. This powerful and prison-like sense of oppression surges in everyone's mind. Thor stared blankly at the gray wolf above the light screen. He spat out a sentence without realizing it. Is this God? And Thor's words are exactly what everyone feels at the moment. The gray wolf above the light screen, to them at the moment, looked like a Mephisto from hell. Exuding that thrilling magic power. Dr. Banner said blankly after reacting. Mr. Big Wolf. God of invention. Nothing more than that. In just two minutes, such a terrifying armor can be invented. It's really hard to help but worship. Bruce Wayne was also shocked. With just the power of your hand, you can turn a towering tree into powder. How many people in our world can resist this kind of power? At the moment, Tony looked embarrassed. My scars are so healed that I forget they hurt. I just said that the destructive power of this armor is not very good. Really, you are asking for trouble. Big Big Wolf. Big Big Wolf. Are you really my Tony's nemesis? Thor looked at Hawkeye with a provocative expression. Now do you know what two minutes can do? Two minutes can create a god. Seeing everything on the light screen, a group of beautiful heroes also started barrage. Female Spider-Man. I understand why this armor doesn't look so powerful at all in Wolf Castle. That's Mr. Big Wolf's home. Not to mention the love of his life, how could he activate the full power of this armor? Wanda, it's such a terrible sense of oppression. Even watching it from the light screen, I can feel the frightening power of the armor. Mr. Ron was indeed the god of invention in his previous life. Jane, didn't you realize that Mr. Big Wolf is really handsome like this? Very cool. Like an extremely powerful Mephista. At the moment above the light curtain, the godlike and devilish Big Big Wolf walked towards the room where Yang Kun was with heavy steps. Every step you take is accompanied by the shaking of the earth. The ground under your feet could not withstand such terrifying force and exploded. The black energy emanating from the body is getting stronger and stronger. In an instant, the situation in the sky changed color. The originally clear blue sky was instantly covered by endless dark clouds. The strong wind swept in all directions and roared. Dark clouds, as black as ink, were rolling in. Thunder, seizing the soul, bursting and flashing. Loud noise, soul stirring, booming sound. It's like a scene like the end of the world. The heaven and earth shook. The storm is rising. The massive dark clouds, accompanied by Big Big Wolf, slowly approached Yang Kun. The Big Big Wolf at the moment really deserves that sentence. Mephista is born. Overwhelm all directions. Looking at the extremely shocking scene above the light curtain, the figure that looked like a god and a devil. All the superheroes at the moment were extremely shocked. The male superheroes' eyes were full of disbelief and shock. The shock in their hearts could no longer be described in words. I can only hold my breath and stare dumbly at the demonic Mephista above the light screen. For a moment, everyone on Blue Star was shocked by Big Grey Wolf's godlike figure. Countless young people were shocked and excited. His eyes are full of enthusiasm. Who doesn't have a dream of such a popular appearance? And all the girls and women, including all the beauties and heroes, were impressed by this shocking aura and handsome figure. Use screams to express your excitement. An overwhelming barrage swept over. Female Spider-Man. Oh my god. This is probably the scene that every girl has imagined in her heart. The person she likes will appear in such a stunning way that the whole world will be shocked. I came here to save my sweetheart. So cool. Jane. So handsome. This is so handsome. This way of appearing is so cool. Much better than that guy who can only use thunder. The unstinting praises and unabashed confessions of affection from a group of beautiful heroes made the faces of all the male superheroes darken. Especially Thor who is named directly. Thor's weak voice sounded. 
I think Thunder is quite handsome when he comes out. And above the light curtain of at the moment, the screen has switched to Yangkun. At the moment in Yangkun, a group of lambs have also noticed the change in the sky in the distance. The smart pleasant goat suddenly had his own guess. No, notify the village chief immediately. This must be the fault of Big Big Wolf. Fei Yang Yang, with well-developed limbs, quickly ran towards the village. After a while, the slow sheep holding the magic staff followed the boiling sheep to the gate. Looking at the approaching dark clouds, Man Yang Yang said quickly. Don't be afraid, everyone, even if Big Big Wolf comes up with something amazing. We don't have to be afraid either. We have a magic staff. We also have a wall. No matter how powerful the Big Grey Wolf is, he can't destroy our wall. After hearing this, a group of superheroes immediately started a crazy discussion. Thor, who had been directly pointed out by Jane just now, naturally has no good feelings towards the Grey Wolf now. HMPH. Even though this guy looks powerful, Yankin's magic staff is no joke. Hundreds of tons of boulders are not comparable to a big tree. What's more, the wall in Yankun has been in existence for nearly 500 years. No wolf has been able to destroy this wall in 500 years. If Big Big Wolf had his way, I'm afraid he would have demolished this wall long ago. Listening to Thor's analysis, the popular science duo looked confused. There's really no way to tell who is strong and who is weak right now. Mr. Big Wolf's invincible steel armor is powerful. The ability of this magic staff cannot be underestimated. And there is also the wall of Yankun. If this wall is anything ordinary, it will not be able to protect Yankun for 500 years. This battle is really difficult to analyze. Above the light curtain, the dark clouds containing bursts of thunder have spread to Yankun. On the distant horizon, the big big wolf slowly appeared, exuding overwhelming magical power. At the gate of Yankun, a group of lambs have also arrived. Pleasant Goat holds the magic staff and looks into the distance with a solemn expression. This big big wolf has done something again, to have such a terrifying sense of oppression. Soon, wearing invincible steel armor, big big wolf took intimidating steps and arrived several hundred meters away from the gate of Yankun. Lambs, are you ready to be captured without mercy? Big big wolf's proud voice sounded. Pleasant Goat snorted coldly. Big Big Wolf, you have a beautiful idea. Let me show you the power of Yankin's staff. The next second, Pleasant Goat waved the magic staff in his hand. A huge boulder dozens of meters square suddenly rose into the air in the distance. Seeing this scene, all the superheroes were once again stunned. Dr. Banner said quickly, this stone is much larger than the last one. I'm afraid the weight has reached tens of thousands of tons. As expected. The full power of this magic staff was not used last time. The name of the artifact. It's true. But Mr. Big Wolf, at the moment, he is also like a god and a devil. Almost the entire Blue Star population stopped at the moment, concentrating on looking at the light curtain in the sky. This is a battle between Mephista and the artifact. Who will win in the end? As Pleasant Goat waved the magic staff in his hand, the huge boulder that covered the sky shot towards Big Big Wolf in an instant. Facing such a terrifying boulder, Big Grey Wolf's mouth and eyes were full of disdain. Just because of this, you want to defeat me, King Big Big Wolf. This time, I'm not afraid of anything. As soon as he finished speaking, the boulder landed instantly and hit Big Grey Wolf. The terrifying power made the entire ground tremble. Huge amounts of cracks opened near the boulders. Seeing Big Big Wolf being directly hit by a boulder, all the lambs were immediately overjoyed. Awesome. The gray wolf was defeated by us. As soon as he finished speaking, the familiar voice sounded in the ears of the lambs again. Who was defeated by you? Big Big Wolf's voice sounded from under the boulder. All the lambs suddenly frowned and looked towards the boulder in panic. The next second, a dazzling light burst out from under the boulder. In an instant, the boulder, which was comparable to a small mountain, exploded in an instant. Turned into powder all over the sky in the smoke and dust that covered the sky and the sun. Big Big Wolf's godlike and demonic figure stands proudly. Seeing this, all the superheroes were immediately excited. Dr. Banner screams. It's amazing. I didn't expect Mr. Big Wolf's armor to actually have energy impact. What a terrifying energy. 
It can actually blast such huge amounts of stones into powder. This power is probably comparable to that of a small nuclear weapon. Banner's analysis immediately made Tony look embarrassed. After all, just now he analyzed that Grey Wolf's armor should not have the energy impact function. Thor, who was equally excited, said quickly. Now, these little sheep may be helpless. Such a huge amount of stones cannot cause harm to Mr. Big Wolf. Now they can only rely on the wall that has been in place for 500 years. And above the light curtain at the moment. Big Big Wolf's domineering eyes swept across the distant wall. Today, nothing can stop me, King Big Big Wolf. With the roar of Big Big Wolf, Big Big Wolf clenched his fists. Black electric lights condensed on Big Big Wolf's fists. The next second, Big Big Wolf suddenly bombarded towards the ground below. Boom. The earth-shaking loud noise resounded throughout the Qingqing grassland. A bottomless ravine suddenly appeared. Attack in the direction of Yangkun. The terrifying power directly set off a terrifying storm. In the next second, a scene that shocked everyone happened. I saw this wall stretching for thousands of meters exploded. The foundation buried in the ground was also blown to pieces by this unimaginable force. Smoke and dust are everywhere. The earth shatters and the sky collapses. Thousands of meters long terrifying gully spans the entire green grassland. The wall that had existed for hundreds of years was gone at the moment. Terrible winds hit the entire Yangkun, and a group of lambs were blown to pieces. The scene on the light screen immediately shocked all the superheroes. His eyes were wide open, looking at the light curtain in disbelief. Thor, who had just said that the lambs could only rely on walls to protect themselves, quickly covered his mouth at the moment. A big question mark appeared in Thor's mind. Is it true that I have a crow's mouth? Lambs, I really didn't mean it. Seeing such terrifying destructive power, even Tony, who owned countless armors, was extremely shocked at the moment. The pride in my heart was completely shattered by Big Big Wolf's punch. Tony murmured in a low voice in despair. Faced with a battle armor that was invented in just two minutes, the battle armor that I have been researching for several years is simply not worth mentioning. Big Big Wolf. Big Big Wolf. How can there be a freak like you? At the moment, Dr. Banner had already stood up in shock. Looking at the shocking scene above the light curtain in disbelief. Oh my god. What a terrifying power this is to create such a terrifying scene. Faced with this kind of power, Hulk probably can't even withstand a punch. As the Hulk, Banner naturally knows that to achieve this effect, whether it is the control of power or the original power, it is astonishing. Thor couldn't help but speak. It's really over now. These lambs have nothing to play with anymore. And all the female superheroes at the moment were so shocked by this shocking scene that they couldn't close their legs. Female Superman, even I can't reach this terrifying power. At least I can't do it now. Wanda, Mr. Big Wolf's inventions shock us time and time again. I didn't expect Mr. Ron to be such a powerful being in his previous life. And above the light curtain at the moment. Watching the wall that had existed for hundreds of years be destroyed with one punch from Big Big Wolf. All the lambs were immediately furious. After all, this wall was built by the hero who saved the sheep tribe. The next second, Pleasant Goat's eyes filled with rage. Big Big Wolf. Let you see how terrifying this magic staff is. After hearing Pleasant Goat's words, all the superheroes immediately looked forward to it. Could it be that Pleasant Goat still has a trump card? Above the light curtain, a pink miniature crane appeared in Pleasant Goat's hand. It's just that the file size of this mini crane is far larger than the previous one. The next second, Pleasant Goat pressed the switch in his hand. In an instant, densely packed miniature cranes shot out from a distance. There are hundreds of densely packed ones. From a distance, it looks like an overwhelming swarm of bees. Saw this shocking scene. All the superheroes were stunned for a moment. Thor looked confused. All go. There are so many magical mini cranes like that in Yangkun. Such a terrifying quantity, I'm afraid it can lift a big mountain. The popular science duo only had a look of shock in their eyes. It's simply unbelievable. It's hard to believe that one of those magical miniature cranes can be produced. These little sheep can actually make such a large number of miniature cranes. It's beyond comprehension. Dr. Banner nodded solemnly. I didn't expect these little sheep to be able to come up with so many mini cranes. 
I'm afraid Big Big Wolf is in big trouble this time. Above the light curtain, Pleasant Goat waved the Yankun magic staff in his hand. The densely packed miniature cranes dispersed instantly. Tractors as thin as suspended threads shot out. Stone blocks within a radius of several kilometers and the ruins of the wall were pulled up by the miniature crane. In the blink of an eye, countless boulders floated in the air, like a meteor shower that could destroy the world. Pleasant Goat suddenly waved the magic staff in his hand. The densely packed boulders bombarded the gray wolf with unimaginable power. Facing the boulders flying at high speed, Big Big Wolf relied on the agility brought by the invincible steel armor to turn and move around. Step on the flying boulders and approach high into the sky. Although Big Big Wolf is tossing and turning in the air, However, the number of boulders is too terrifying. Suddenly, huge amounts of stones carrying a huge amount of power bombarded the gray wolf. Big Big Wolf snorted coldly. Is that all? Suddenly punched out. The terrifying power was released instantly. A loud bang. This boulder with a diameter of more than 10 meters exploded instantly. Seeing that Big Big Wolf has reached high altitude, Pleasant Goat felt proud. Big Big Wolf. Let me show you the power of the magic staff. Pleasant Goat waved the magic staff in his hand crazily. High in the sky, from all directions, huge boulders cut through the space, making a whirring sound, and shot towards Big Gray Wolf. At the moment, Big Big Wolf has no retreat and no escape. Seeing such a dangerous situation, all the superheroes also looked anxious. Four sighed sharply. Big Big Wolf's fighting method is wrong. When he got into the air, his ability to dodge was greatly suppressed. The power erupted from such a large number of boulders is probably hard to estimate. Now Big Gray Wolf is in trouble. Faced with Thor's analysis, everyone did not speak to refute, obviously agreeing with Thor's view. And in the light curtain of at the moment, looking at the boulders that had surrounded him, Big Big Wolf showed disdain. Just because of this, you want to defeat me, King Big Big Wolf. What an idiot. Let you see what invincible steel armor is. The next second, Big Big Wolf put his hands on his waist. I saw the purple gems on the belt flashing with white highlights. Dazzling white light bloomed from the gem. In an instant, a huge amount of light beam shot out from above the belt. With Big Big Wolf's gorgeous 360 degree rotation, the white beam of light instantly swept across the entire sky. Dazzling white light blooms in the sky like a blazing sun rising. In an instant, the boulders within several thousand meters were directly submerged by this terrifying energy fluctuation. In the dazzling light, huge rocks turned into powder. The art of explosion is displayed vividly and exquisitely at this moment. Flames and light pillars complement each other in the air, forming an explosive symphony. In the gorgeous and shocking explosion, Big Big Wolf's handsome figure fell rapidly. One hand on the ground, a standard superhero landing. The ground shook. Dust filled the air with his domineering figure. Coordinate with the explosion behind you. It directly brought Big Big Wolf's handsomeness to its peak. Such a gorgeous and domineering scene suddenly exploded in everyone's hearts like a nuclear bomb. That terrifying energy. Gorgeous picture. Handsome figure. Every one of them stimulates everyone's heartbeat. In an instant, everyone on the entire blue star stood stunned on the spot. The pupils were occupied by that gorgeous scene. Such a shocking scene. Everyone immediately lost their ability to think. The eyes that looked into the light curtain were not only extremely shocked, but also filled with sincere admiration. After half a minute, everyone finally came to terms with this shocking scene. Suddenly, excited shouts came from the entire blue star. So handsome. I can't stand it. How can he be so handsome? Big Big Wolf, I want to give birth to a wolf pup for you. From now on, I will be Big Big Wolf's biggest fan. Please call me Wei Wei. A group of girls at the moment had their eyes filled with peach blossoms and were intoxicated. And at the moment the rooftop of Stark Tower. All the male superheroes looked at each other with disbelief in their eyes. Dr. Banner couldn't help but stood up. The eyes that looked at Big Big Wolf were full of reverence. The God of Invention well-deserved god of invention. The invention made in two minutes really puts all scientists to shame. In front of Mr. Big Wolf, who is worthy of the title of inventive genius. The eyes of the popular science duo it at the moment twinkled. Tony sighed sincerely. Compared to Mr. Big Wolf, 
I am like the stars competing against the bright moon. The shocked Thor couldn't help but say, Awesome. At the moment, only this word can describe Thor's mood. Only simple and unpretentious words can express the most simple feelings in the heart. And at the moment shield headquarters. Looking at the domineering and handsome scene above the light curtain. As the director, Nick Fury had a solemn look on his face. Just two hours ago, Nick Fury had been notified by the top management. Regarding Ron, there has to be total surveillance. Don't let go of anything about him. In addition, if it is found that Ron's strength has exceeded the controllable range. Whatever his own thoughts may be, they must be controlled. He cannot be allowed to threaten the security of Yingjiang country. Looking at the scene in front of him, Nick Fury couldn't help but start asking himself. With Ron's strength at the moment, even if the Avengers join forces with other superhero organizations, can they defeat Ron? After thinking carefully, Nick Fury got the answer he least wanted to know. Obviously this can't be done. After investigation, at the moment Nick Fury has learned that many female superheroes are obsessed with Ron. Let's not talk about Wanda and Black Widow who are affiliated with Avengers. The mere existence of a female Superman would force Nick Fury to consider it carefully. If Ron could possess the invincible steel armor from his previous life, looking at the destructive power of this invincible steel armor, he would definitely become a first-tier existence on the entire Blue Star. And those who can achieve this strength are the female Superman and Gwen. Although Thor and Banner are powerful, they have certain limitations in their destructiveness. Obviously, the female Superman, as a top combat power, will not obey Shield's instructions. If S.H.I.E.L.D. really takes action against Ron, it may lead to a powerful alliance between the female Superman and Ron. At that time, even if most of the superheroes are gathered together to deal with the two. Even if he can win, he will win miserably. That kind of consequence is not something Nick Fury can bear. Faced with the current treatment plan for Ron, Nick Fury is extremely confused. And above the light curtain at the moment. I saw countless mini cranes being annihilated by Big Big Wolf in one fell swoop. All the lambs were immediately panicked. How can Big Big Wolf be so powerful? What can we do? Run. At the moment the lazy sheep is ready to escape. Only Pleasant Goat, at the moment is looking at the Big Big Wolf in the distance. A gleam of wisdom flashed in his eyes. The Big Big Wolf, wearing invincible steel armor, was slowly approaching the lambs with his domineering steps at the moment. Under the terrible energy fluctuations, dark clouds are gathering in the sky. Thunder and lightning. A thunder exploded. And it was this thunder that made Pleasant Goat's eyes flash with a sparkle. Correct. Pleasant Goat quickly waved the magic staff in his hand, and a miniature crane shot towards Big Big Wolf from behind. At the moment, Big Big Wolf was so complacent that he didn't notice anything strange behind him. As the tractor was released, Big Big Wolf's body was directly taken high into the sky by the miniature crane. Seeing this scene, all the superheroes suddenly sneered. Thor pouted. It seems that this Pleasant Goat is also struggling to its death. Even if it's hanging Big Big Wolf high in the sky, what's the use? Is it possible that he still wants to throw Big Big Wolf to death? The popular science duo still maintain a rigorous attitude towards scientific research. It is absolutely impossible to kill Big Big Wolf. Presumably this pleasant goat also wants to delay as much time as possible. After all, Big Big Wolf's invincible steel armor does not have the ability of flight. I'm just afraid that Big Big Wolf will use that terrible energy attack again. Under that terrible energy, I'm afraid the lamb below will be dead. Above the light curtain, Big Grey Wolf suddenly flew high into the sky and was slightly startled. In the blink of an eye, a disdainful expression appeared. Pleasant Goat, stop struggling to your death. This is meaningless. Just be obedient and be eaten by this king. High in the sky, there were dark clouds and lightning flashing. Pleasant Goat looked confident. Big Big Wolf, don't be proud. See how I deal with you. As soon as Pleasant Goat finished speaking, a bolt of thunder exploded in the sky. Suddenly, there was thunder in the dark clouds. Like a series of ferocious thunder dragons. The next second, dense thunder streaked across the sky and bombarded the gray wolf below. The speed of thunder is so terrifying. Before Big Big Wolf could react. Countless thunders have bombarded Big Big Wolf's body. 
The unimaginable electric current instantly penetrated Big Wolf's body. An explosion sounded high in the sky. Big Big Wolf's figure was immediately blown away. Fly towards the sky. Seeing this scene, all the superheroes stood frozen on the spot. There was a confused look on his face. What happened? Mr. Big Wolf was actually defeated by thunder and lightning. Such a terrifying armor is actually afraid of thunder and lightning. The popular science duo sighed, their eyes full of regret. Hey, I didn't expect Mr. Big Wolf to be so defeated. Such a powerful armor is actually afraid of thunder and lightning. Tony couldn't help but pat his thigh. If I could have been there at that time, I would have equipped this powerful armor with equipment to absorb electrical energy. Listening to Tony's words, Richard on the side was slightly stunned. Tony, it's not like you don't have a chance. If Mr. Ron can inherit this invincible armor, wouldn't we be able to create an unprecedentedly powerful armor? Richard's proposal immediately made Tony ecstatic. Richard, you are right. Wait a moment, we will go find Mr. Ron. The conversation between the two was overheard by Captain America Steve who was not far away. Steve frowned, slowly turned his head and left. But Thor at the moment looked proud. I didn't expect it. I didn't expect it. I, Thor Thor, am actually the natural enemy of this armor. At the same time, S.H.I.E.L.D. headquarters. Seeing this dramatic scene on the screen, Nick Fury was immediately ecstatic. Great. This past life exposure actually exposed the fatal flaw of this invincible steel armor. With this fatal flaw, this invincible steel armor is no longer a problem. At this moment, a figure slowly walked in from outside the door. Nick Fury turned and looked. None other than Captain America Steve returning from Stark Tower. See it's Steve. Nick Fury put away the smile on his face. Captain, what are you doing here? Captain America slowly walked to the sofa nearby and sat down. A deep voice came out. Tony and Richard have decided to go find Ron. If Ron really gets the invincible steel armor from his previous life, they hope to work with Ron to build a perfect invincible steel armor. Hearing Captain America's words, the joy in Nick Fury's heart suddenly disappeared. His already dark complexion suddenly turned gloomy. I began to send cordial greetings to Tony and Richard in my heart. This group of brainless scientists actually want to help Ron build an invincible steel armor with no flaws. What if Ron really has a perfect invincible armor? I wonder what kind of trouble it will cause. No, we must find a way to stop them. Nick Fury was about to give an order when he suddenly looked at Captain America on the sofa. Captain, why are you doing this? Captain America slowly stood up. Walked directly towards the door. I don't want anyone to harm this world. Do something unjust. With just one sentence, Captain America turned around and left. Looking at Captain America's back, Nick Fury was lost for a long time and sighed helplessly. Based on Nick Fury's understanding of Captain America and the last time he captured Ron, Nick Fury naturally knows Captain America's character. Captain America will never do anything that goes against justice. And this time, Captain America once again stood on the side of justice. Captain. I don't know if the justice in your heart is right or wrong. Nick Fury let out a heartfelt sigh. His eyes were once again filled with indifference. As the director of S.H.I.E.L.D., he has things he must do. Whether it is just or not is not his concern. Nick Fury delivered the order to Phil Coulson without any hesitation. Phil Coulson. Tony and Richard will go to Ron's home. After listening to Nick Fury's words, Phil Coulson's calm voice came out. I understand, director. I will stop them. After conveying the order, Nick Fury sat upright on his chair. There was a dark light shining in the only remaining eye. Someone has to keep an eye on Ron. Even if Phil Coulson stops Tony and Richard, in the current world, it is not difficult to solve the fear of thunder and lightning. Ron's whereabouts must be monitored in all aspects. The next second, an idea appeared in Nick Fury's mind. This is the only way. For the safety of Yingjiang country, we have to do this. Nick Fury picked up the pager. Natasha Romanoff, I have a task for you. Come to S.H.I.E.L.D. headquarters first. And at the moment Ron's home. As today's exposure ends, the wonderful sound of the system sounds again. Today's exposure ends. Dear Mr. Ron, today's exposure reward will be sent to you. Congratulations to Mr. Ron, you have obtained the Invincible Steel Armor Ultimate Edition. The ultimate version of Invincible Steel Armor. 
In the current world, it cannot be destroyed. Immune to all physical damage. Wearing the invincible steel armor will gain the power of level sub godfather. Increase your strength limit. In the ultimate version of the invincible steel armor not only removes the characteristic of fear of thunder and lightning, but also removes all the characteristics of metal. Equipped with new energy lines. Energy storage via electric current. Seeing this scene, Ron felt happy. This ultimate version of the invincible steel armor has solved a considerable part of my problems. My big big wolf physique, although my power is theoretically unlimited. The only requirement for power improvement is that I need to have huge amounts of mood swings. Although I can make myself angry to a certain extent, there is always a limit. I don't want to imagine those people who only experienced painful things and then exploded with terrible power. Things have already happened. What can I make up for by having more power? However, with this ultimate version of the invincible steel armor, I at least have the power of level sub godfather. Use all your strength. There is no problem in destroying a small city. What's more, it eliminates the fear of lightning and all metal properties. This way, I don't have to be afraid of electric current attacks and magnetic control. Obviously this invincible steel armor is too terrifying. The exposure system did not give itself a manufacturing plan for it. Forget it. If you have a way with this kind of thing, it's enough to ensure your own safety. Safety is the most important thing. Soon, it was late at night. Richard and Tony, who originally planned to visit Ron, had not yet arrived at Ron's home. The way was blocked by Phil Coulson who was lurking nearby. Under Phil Coulson's emotional and rational persuasion, the two of them gave up their plan to find Ron. On the way back, Tony and Richard looked disappointed. Richard said helplessly, Really, this shield is just different from what we were considering. What a pity. I can't share this scientific research with Mr. Ron. Tony on the side looked shocked. It's not impossible. Shield is just worried that Mr. Ron will endanger the world. Based on what I know about Shield, they will definitely send someone to lurk around Mr. Ron. After all, they did this to me before. We can recommend ourselves. In this way, we can not only get Shield's consent, but also get close to Mr. Ron. Have academic discussions with him. Tony's words immediately made Richard ecstatic. You are still smart. Tony, we will go tomorrow. The sun rises and the moon sets, it's another sunny day. Shield headquarters. In Nick Fury's office. A curvy and extremely hot body walked in. None other than Black Widow, Natasha Romanoff. Watch Natasha Romanoff arrive. Nick Fury stood up slowly. There was a trace of confusion in Natasha Romanoff's eyes. After much hesitation, Nick Fury finally said it. Natasha Romanoff, there is a very important task for you. Natasha Romanoff doesn't have any mood swings. After all, she has heard this statement countless times. What is the mission content? Natasha Romanoff asked calmly. At this moment, a figure appeared at the door. Looking at the situation in the office through the gap. It was the slender and dashing hill agent. Looking at Nick Fury and Natasha Romanoff, the Hill agent was about to leave, but stopped because of Nick Fury's words. The target of this mission is Ron. Upon hearing the name Ron, the Hill agent suddenly trembled. There was a look of fascination in his eyes. Since the last time Hill agent was sent to invite Ron to join S.H.I.E.L.D. At the beginning, she still knew her purpose. But as I talked with Ron, Ron's magnetic voice, free and easy attitude, and thoughts that seemed to be able to see through everything. Everything touches the frozen heart of Agent Hill. She felt something she had never felt before, a heart-pounding feeling. I don't know why, but when facing that man, Agent Hill can't help but want to get close to him. After leaving, the Hill agent also discovered his gaffe. During this period of time, I tried my best to suppress my thoughts about Ron. But today, when I heard Ron's name, the suppressed emotional fire burned brightly again. Hill agent slowly approached the door, listening to the movement inside. Hearing the name Ron, Natasha Romanoff's eyes went blank. That funny guy. Natasha Romanoff hid her excitement. Ron, what do I need to do? Listening to Natasha Romanoff's inquiry, Nick Fury said coldly. Now, with the revelation of his past life, Ron has become a thorn in our side at S.H.I.E.L.D. We wanted to invite him to join S.H.I.E.L.D., but he declined. Because he is so dangerous, we must keep an eye on him all the time. So, 
I hope you can accept this task. No matter what method you use, you must stay with Ron. It is best to monitor him day and night. After saying this, Nick Fury stared at Natasha Romanoff's expression. No matter what method is used, the implications are self-evident. Natasha Romanoff sighed. In this case, for this task, I. Before Natasha Romanoff finished speaking, a crisp voice suddenly sounded from the door. I think it's more appropriate to leave this task to me. The sudden sound made the two people in the room slightly stunned. The next second, the door opened, and Agent Hill walked in with her slender legs. Director Nick Fury and Natasha Romanoff may not know Ron. I have a certain understanding of him through the last communication with him. It is true that Ron is an extremely dangerous person now, but I am willing to accept this task. Faced with the fierce competition from Hill Agent, Natasha Romanoff naturally refused to give in. Hill Agent, this kind of task is supposed to be done by me. Now that you have taken a back seat, you just need to be your commander and shield. I don't know Ron, you just know that I haven't been in contact with him before. The two people's burning eyes collided in the air, and it was clear that neither of them would give in. Looking at the tit-for-tat confrontation between the two, Nick Fury couldn't help but be speechless. What kind of freak is this Ron? Why are so many women surrounding him? Who should this task be given to? The next second, the tit-for-tat Hill agent and Natasha Romanoff instantly looked at Nick Fury. Director, tell me, who is more suitable to give this task to? Seeing the fierce looks in their eyes, Nick Fury suddenly felt troubled. What should I do now? Whoever I give it to is tantamount to offending another person. At this moment, two figures walked in from the door. It was Richard and Tony. Looking at Agent Hill and Natasha Romanoff who were at war with each other, they were slightly stunned. He also noticed something was wrong with the atmosphere in front of him. Tony smiled awkwardly. Where are you having a meeting? Then let's go out first, and we'll talk about it after you finish the meeting. At the moment, Nick Fury is like an ant on a walk, and he is very stressed out. The arrival of Tony and Richard is tantamount to giving Nick Fury a step to divert his attention and enough time to think. Facing the two people who wanted to leave, Nick Fury said quickly. It's okay. Don't leave, you two. I have nothing to do here, what do you two want? You can talk now. Hearing this, Tony and Richard looked at each other. Since you can't leave, just say it. Tony took a deep breath. Well, we have a plan for Ron. As soon as these words came out, Nick Fury was overjoyed. Awesome. The two of them actually figured out a way to deal with Ron. If I can deal with Ron, I won't need to monitor him. I won't have to make this difficult choice. Tony's words also attracted the attention of Hill Agent and Natasha Romanoff. The two of them looked at Tony with puzzled expressions. Nick Fury asked excitedly. What's the plan? You two hurry up and tell me. Tony smiled slightly. Tony said slowly. I think this Ron is an extremely dangerous person. Nick Fury nodded in approval. I already admire Phil Coulson in my heart. Phil Coulson, you still have a way. Not only can you stop Tony and Richard, but you can also make them take the initiative to find a way to deal with Ron. Nick Fury said quickly. Go on, Tony, what did you come up with? Tony continued. Since this Ron is so dangerous, we can't act rashly. After all, Ron really got the invincible steel armor in his previous life, so his destructive power is terrifying. If you are not careful, it is very likely that Ron will take revenge and cause terrible casualties. Regarding Tony's analysis, Nick Fury nodded repeatedly. So, Richard and I came up with an idea. Tony's words immediately attracted the attention of everyone present, and they all stared at Tony. Tony smiled slightly. Richard and I have already discussed it. We are approaching Ron under the guise of academic research, but in essence we are monitoring his every move. As soon as these words came out, everyone present was stunned. Nick Fury's already dark face was even more gloomy and terrifying. You're telling me that you and Richard want to spy on Ron. Nick Fury said through gritted teeth. Looking at Nick Fury's expression, Tony and Richard were slightly stunned. What's happening here? Still a timid response. Yes. Nick Fury narrowed his eyes slightly and carefully looked at Tony and Richard in front of him. There is a strange charm in his eyes. Even Hill Agent and Natasha Romanoff looked at them with contempt at the moment. Those scorching eyes immediately made both Tony and Tony feel terrified. 
The three of them were silent for a long time, just staring at Tony and Richard in front of them. The two finally couldn't stand the strange atmosphere. Speak. What are you looking at? Why are you so lewd? Richard couldn't help but said. Nick Fury snorted coldly. You two, talk to the two of them. Who will give this task to? As soon as these words came out, Tony and Richard were immediately confused. He quickly looked at the Hill agent on the side, Natasha Romanoff. Could it be that the two of them are also going to monitor Ron? Before Tony could say anything, the Hill agent took the lead and launched the offensive. Stark, you are not a member of S.H.I.E.L.D. You don't have to worry about this. I will personally monitor Ron. As soon as she finished speaking, Natasha Romanoff didn't flinch. Stark, you are not suitable for this matter at all. You should go run your Stark group quickly and forget about this kind of thing. You two are not suitable for this matter. Facing the two men's questioning, Tony and Richard suddenly became angry. We two are not suitable. You two are suitable. What is this? We are not members of S.H.I.E.L.D., but we are also Blue Star people, and we have a duty to protect Blue Star. In an instant, you say a word. My word. The whole office suddenly resounded with everyone's debate. Looking at the few people who were on the verge of a fight in front of him, Nick Fury looked desperate. What's so charming about Ron? Doesn't he even let men go? Nick Fury, who was already autistic, sat helplessly on the sofa and covered his ears. The quarrel among the people is getting more and more intense. Why are you two grown men joining in the fun? Do you think everyone else likes that special hobby just like you? Special hobby? What nonsense are you talking about? I think you two are the ones who got on the pole and delivered it to me. Facing Tony and Richard, Hill Agent and Natasha Romanoff form a temporary alliance. The words in everyone's mouth began to become unpleasant, and they were approaching the 18 forbidden. Nick Fury can't take it anymore. Shut up, everyone. As Nick Fury roared, everyone stopped arguing. Looking at the people in front of him who refused to give in, Nick Fury sighed. You decide this matter yourself. However, we must not alert the enemy. Also, no emergencies are allowed. Hearing this, several people snorted and turned around to leave. At the same time, among northern Europe, in the dense mountain forest, there is an ancient castle. The whole castle looks eerie. Under the dim light, several figures were gathering here. An old man wearing a helmet with a scary smile on his face is Magneto. This is an opportunity. The real ability of this invincible steel armor is too terrifying, but we can find out through the clues in the exposure. This invincible steel armor has big flaws. This invincible steel armor is obviously made of a special metal. Since this steel armor cannot protect against thunder and lightning, it means that this steel armor has the properties of metal. It's made of metal, so it's not worth mentioning. We're aware of this, and there's no reason S.H.I.E.L.D. wouldn't pay attention. So, we must be cautious in this operation. What do you think of this operation? Listening to Magneto's words, everyone below looked at each other. The huge juggernaut spoke directly. I don't believe that this invincible steel armor is really as powerful as it was exposed in the previous life. As I say, just go catch this Ron. Everything will be settled. Juggernaut is famous for his strong limbs and simple mind. Naturally no one took his words to heart. Pyro and Callisto on the side did not express their opinions. Magneto slowly looked at Dark Phoenix and Mystique on the side. Dark Phoenix said softly. This is something I think we have to proceed with caution. We are now considering not just Ron, but the entire S.H.I.E.L.D. and Avengers. If we talk about head-to-head -head confrontation, we may not be their opponents. Mystique on the side nodded. Indeed, I think it's up to me to take action first and investigate Ron's situation. And how well S.H.I.E.L.D. protects him. Listening to Mystique's words, Magneto nodded. This is the most appropriate method. Unless it is absolutely necessary, we should not go to war with the Avengers. Speaking of the words, Avengers, Magneto's gloomy eyes flashed with ripples. Ron, who is remembered by all forces, is standing at the door of his home at the moment. The place where Ron's house is located is considered a relatively quiet street among Cho Yu. The streets are very clean and wide. On both sides of the street, two-story apartments are neatly located. Definitely, since Ron doesn't like to go out, the neighbors don't know that the gray wolf that has become popular in the entire Blue Star is their neighbor. After stretching his body, 
Ron walked leisurely towards his home. Just after Ron returned home, a luxury car sped from a distance. It's an Audi supercar. Soon, this Audi supercar was parked near Ron's house. Two figures stepped out of the supercar. It was Tony and Richard. The two looked at each other. His eyes were full of pride. Thankfully we acted quickly, and those two crazy women haven't arrived yet. Act quickly, we must occupy the most advantageous position. The next second, the two of them walked directly towards Ron's neighbor's house. Without any hesitation, Tony knocked on the door. Soon, a middle-aged man came out. The man in front of me turned out to be the famous playboy Tony. And Mr. Fantastic Richard. The middle-aged man was suddenly speechless in surprise. Tony said directly, One million dollars. Sell me your house. Complete the formalities immediately. Get out of here. The middle-aged man at the moment was so surprised that he couldn't express his surprise when faced with this overwhelming wealth. If you don't say anything, I'll take it as if you agree. I'll find someone to help you arrange your move right away. In front of Chow ability, a few minutes later, the middle-aged man left here with his family in ecstasy. I also didn't forget to express my family's gratitude to Tony. Just as the family was about to leave, a motorcycle came speeding up. He stopped directly in front of everyone. On the motorcycle was none other than black widow Natasha Romanoff. At the moment, the family was stunned on the spot, looking confused. What's going on today? Why are superheroes like this here? Seeing the scene in front of her, Natasha Romanoff immediately understood the whole story. Without any hesitation, Natasha Romanoff shot directly towards the house on the other side. Although the place where Ron is located is not a slum area, it is still considered a relatively cheap area. The value of a house is only 100,000 United States dollars. Soon, Natasha Romanoff also got another house. At this moment, Hill agent arrived belatedly. Without any hesitation, he walked straight towards the house opposite Ron's house. At the moment, Ron was enjoying his hard-earned leisure life at home and didn't even notice what was going on outside. Several people who got houses respectively stood at the door of their homes, looking at each other provocatively. At this moment, cars came to this secluded road one after another. Seeing the cars appearing here, the four people in the group suddenly looked confused. What's going on? Could it be that S.H.I.E.L.D. sent someone else? The roar of the car immediately attracted Ron's attention. Ron stood up with an unhappy look on his face. Who is causing the wind and rain outside? It's so noisy. It's disturbing my TV viewing. Ron stood up slowly and looked out the window. When Ron saw the figures on the street, he froze in place. I saw a series of enchanting, plump, and beauties with different styles slowly walking down from the vehicle. It's Susan the Invisible Woman, Spider Gwen, Felicia the Black Cat, Wonder Woman, and Scarlet Witch Wanda. He is a regular client of Ron's psychological consulting room. It turned out that Ron, who was already financially free, did not open the door for the past two days and chose to go on vacation. This couldn't help but make all the beautiful heroes fall into the trap. After asking around, everyone finally learned Ron's current location. So he rushed over without stopping. Looking at the various beauties vying for beauty outside the window, Ron looked helpless. I just want some peace and quiet, can't I? On the street, hot and charming bodies appeared one after another. Richard and Tony looked even more envious. Mr. Ron's ability in this area is really scarier than invention. You are truly a role model for our generation. The two looked at each other with helplessness in their eyes. Although the two of them were extremely envious and jealous of Ron. But after getting to know each other in the past few days, they also understood that it was not Ron who took the initiative, but Ron's charm was too great. The two of them can't dislike Ron's charm, right? In order not to irritate their already fragile hearts, the two of them turned and walked directly towards their house. As the two left, a group of beauties were at war with each other on the street, looking at each other with disdain in their eyes. At this time, whoever goes to Ron's home first will attract others to stop him. Everyone also understood this truth and immediately chose to find their own place to stay. Everyone's financial status varies. Some wealthy people purchased properties directly. If you don't have enough financial ability, you can only choose to rent. Fortunately, there are not a few vacant houses on this street. In half a day, everyone had their own place. 
It was already four o'clock in the afternoon in the blink of an eye. It's time again for the daily exposure of past lives. As four o'clock arrived on time, the light curtain across the sky suddenly lit up. Exposed today, the king of inventions, Big Big Wolf, ranks seventh among the top ten inventions. With the appearance of the light curtain, a group of superheroes have also arrived at the rooftop of Stark Tower at the moment. Everyone took their seats and looked around, only to realize that two people were missing. None other than the hosts Tony and Mr. Fantastic Richard. The light curtain exposure at the moment had already begun, and no one was looking for the whereabouts of the two of them. And our popular science duo at the moment are lying on the deck chairs on the balcony. Watching the light curtain in the sky. The two of them looked towards the apartment next door. At the moment, Ron was also sitting on the balcony, sipping the red wine in his hand, feeling very happy. In the surrounding apartments, every beauty hero at the moment has also come to the balcony. While watching the light screen, he cast fiery glances in the direction of Ron from time to time, hoping to get Ron's attention. Obviously at the moment Ron just wants to watch cartoons happily and has no interest in them. As the light curtain lights up, a lush green grassland appears above the light curtain. I saw around Yankun, the walls that had been destroyed by Big Big Wolf, at the moment have stood here again. It just looks very different from the previous wall. Dr. Banner nodded. Sure enough, as we guessed, this slow sheep is also an inventor. It seems that now he has rebuilt the wall of Yankun. Above the light curtain, two figures slowly walked from a distance. It is the couple Grey Wolf and Red Wolf. At the moment, Big Big Wolf is pushing a cannon hard. Red Wolf stood aside with an unhappy look on his face. The scorching sun made Red Wolf couldn't help but hold up a parasol. See the unique way the two appeared. All the superheroes suddenly looked confused. Thor looked confused. Why did Big Big Wolf push the cannon out? Could it be that he wanted to launch cannonballs? Attack Yankun. That shouldn't be the case. The lambs have a special physique, and ordinary cannonballs cannot cause effective damage to them at all. Dr. Banner also nodded. We understand this, and Mr. Big Wolf must understand it too. It seems that Mr. Grey Wolf must have other ideas. Let's wait and see what magical thing Mr. Grey Wolf's invention is. As the distance grew closer, Grey Wolf and Red Wolf had stopped. The location where the two of them were located was only 1,000 meters away from Yankun. There is a river tens of meters wide between it and Yankun. Grey Wolf came to Red Wolf with a flattering look on his face. My dear wife, don't worry. My invention this time will definitely allow us to catch the lamb. Faced with Grey Wolf's solemn words, Red Wolf didn't take it seriously. I've heard what you said 180 times. But so far, you haven't caught a single sheep. If you can't catch the sheep this time, you don't have to go home. The Red Wolf's anger made the Grey Wolf fawn over again and again. My dear wife, don't be angry. Give me another chance. I will definitely succeed this time. Looking at Big Big Wolf, he has a humble attitude. All the beautiful heroes suddenly became furious. Wanda, how disgusting. Every time I see Red Wolf's attitude towards Mr. Grey Wolf, I get angry. Why does she have Mr. Big Wolf's preference? Female Spider-Man, that's right. I really can't figure out why Mr. Grey Wolf has such a soft spot for Red Wolf. Does he only love her? Natasha Romanoff, maybe, this is what makes Mr. Big Wolf so admirable. No matter how the love in your heart treats you, it remains the same. Never give up. This is true love. This is a real man. Natasha Romanoff's words caught the eyes of all the beautiful heroes. In an instant, all the beautiful heroes fell into deep thought. No matter what you love in your heart, no matter how you treat yourself, you will never change your original intention. Mr. Big Big Wolf is such an infatuated person. Choose one person to grow old, choose one person to live forever. This kind of love probably only appears in fairy tales. And Red Wolf can actually have such a dreamy love. How can we not make people envious? Jealous. If only one person could treat me like this. Even if the world ends and the world is separated, it will still be enough to comfort me in this life. Almost at the same time, an idea appeared in the minds of all the beautiful heroes. People who have undergone past life exposure have a certain chance of obtaining the abilities or items from the past life. And there is another phenomenon. 
The personalities in this life and the previous life will be very similar. Is it possible that Mr. Ron is just like the big big wolf in his previous life? He is a passionate person. He only loves one person in his life. Thinking of this possibility, all the beautiful heroes suddenly solved their doubts. Mr. Ron is so resistant to us, not because he hates us. It's because Mr. Ron is so infatuated. If he accepts someone, he will love her for the rest of his life. Thinking of this possibility, the beauties and hero's fascination with Ron once again reached a peak. Suddenly, the eyes of all the beautiful heroes were filled with determination. I must become Mr. Ron's only love. In an instant, all the beautiful heroes looked in Ron's direction with fiery eyes. But Ron at the moment directly held up the umbrella. What's going on? Why do you feel so hot today? And above the light curtain at the moment. Hearing Grey Wolf's assurance, Red Wolf looked impatient. Hurry up, if you can't catch the lamb. See how I deal with you. Big Big Wolf smiled brightly. Wait a moment, my dear wife, it's not time yet. Listening to Grey Wolf's explanation, Red Wolf could only wait patiently. And many superheroes are also puzzled. It's not yet time. Could it be that Mr. Big Wolf's invention this time still pays attention to the right time, place, and people? Time passed minute by minute, and it was already noon in the light curtain. The venomous sunshine is mercilessly scorching the earth. Red Wolf was already sweating profusely at the moment. Big Big Wolf, how long do we have to wait? It's going to burn me to death. As soon as I finished speaking, I saw a dark cloud floating in the sky towards Yankun. Seeing this scene, Big Big Wolf was extremely excited. We'll be there soon. I'm ready to take action now. My dear wife, just watch it. Listening to Big Big Wolf's words, all the superheroes were even more confused. What is going on? There are dark clouds floating in the sky. Could it be that this is an artificial rainfall cannon? Mr. Big Big Wolf doesn't want to flood Yankun, does he? This idea is not practical. This is a plane. Following Big Big Wolf, he came to the cannon and took out a bottle of Grey Potion. All the superheroes suddenly realized. Thor was the first to express his opinion. I know. Big Big Wolf wants to poison you. The poison in his hands must be very terrible. Dr. Banner thought for a moment and nodded. This is very possible. We have just discovered that Mr. Big Wolf is waiting for this cumulonimbus cloud. And now I have taken out this bottle of potion. This bottle of potion is most likely poison. It is indeed possible to cause rain through cumulonimbus clouds and sprinkle poison into the Yankun area. Peter on the side nodded. Really? It seems that this poison must be something very special, otherwise it would be diluted even if it blends into the cumulonimbus clouds. Although these lambs have a special physique and are very resistant to physical attacks, they may not be able to resist attacks like poison. I have to say that Mr. Big Big Wolf is really good at summarizing. Not only does he have unparalleled attainments and inventions, he also has his own insights and strategy. Above the light curtain, soon this group of cumulonimbus clouds had arrived over Yankun. Seeing this scene, Big Big Wolf was ecstatic. He directly stuffed the potion in his hand into the cannon. As the entire cumulonimbus cloud enveloped Yankun, Big Big Wolf excitedly lit the fuse. Boom! With a loud noise, a cannonball carrying medicine bombarded the cumulonimbus clouds high in the sky. In the blink of an eye, a cannonball exploded in the cumulonimbus clouds. The next second, the already gloomy cumulonimbus clouds rolled crazily, and streaks of thunder shone in them. The dull roar of thunder resounded across the sky. Wow! The pouring rain suddenly enveloped Yankun below. Seeing this scene, Big Big Wolf was extremely happy. He quickly ran to the river, took out his binoculars, and looked in the direction of Yankun. With the arrival of heavy rain, the temperature nearby also dropped. Red Wolf threw the umbrella aside casually, and a gust of wind blew the umbrella away. It's finally cool now. But at this moment, the cumulonimbus cloud suddenly changed its direction and floated towards the direction of Big Big Wolf at great speed. Seeing this scene, Big Big Wolf was shocked. He quickly looked back, only to find that the umbrella in Red Wolf's hand had disappeared. Big Big Wolf panicked looking for traces of the parasol. Finally I saw it next to a bush. Big Big Wolf suddenly ran towards the parasol like crazy. Soon, Grey Wolf had already obtained the parasol. When he turned around, he found that his wife, 
red wolf, had been washed away by the rain. Looking at the red wolf with its back turned to him, the gray wolf suddenly stood there. Seeing this dramatic scene, all the superheroes were also confused. Thor couldn't help but cover his face. How can it be so miserable? So unlucky. Look at this moment, the umbrella was blown away. It's over, it's over now. Red Wolf has been poisoned. Dr. Banner on the side shook his head. It shouldn't be a big problem. This poison was invented by Mr. Grey Wolf, so Mr. Grey Wolf must also have the antidote. And above the light curtain at the moment. Grey Wolf quickly raised his umbrella and ran towards Red Wolf. At the moment, the Red Wolf didn't realize what happened, and still turned his back to the Grey Wolf. Honey, are you okay? Big Big Wolf looked worried. As soon as he finished speaking, the red wolf in front of him slowly turned around. And when they saw the appearance of the red wolf now, both the gray wolf and everyone in front of the light curtain stood stunned. Blind eyes. I saw the red wolf at the moment, her smooth and tight skin was now wrinkled, and deep wrinkles were all over her once charming and pretty face. The originally delicate face has become flabby due to the disappearance of collagen. The whole person has aged dozens of years and become senile. The next second, Red Wolf's old voice sounded. What did you say? Why can't I hear you clearly? Obviously, Red Wolf has aged to the extreme, and even speaking has become weak. Seeing the old and disfigured Red Wolf in front of them, everyone on the entire Blue Star was stunned. His eyes were full of disbelief. Open your mouth wide, as if it could fit into a fist. The rooftop of Stark Tower. Seeing this scene, all the superheroes could not suppress their shock. Thor raised his right hand tremblingly and pointed at the light curtain. Red Wolf actually turned into an old woman, what the hell happened? Dr. Banner shook his head in disbelief. Terrible. Absolutely terrifying. Even though I thought of countless possibilities. I never thought that the effect of this potion could actually make people age directly. This is simply incomprehensible. Mr. Big Wolf can actually develop this kind of potion. It's terrible. Ron Street. The popular science duo at the moment were stunned, and the hand holding the red wine stopped in midair. Looking at the light curtain high in the sky in disbelief. Oh my god. This is so terrible. This kind of poison. Although it cannot kill people directly, it can make people age to such an extent. This is simply more terrifying than killing people. Richard nodded blankly. It's easy to kill people. It's easy to make people age. This is simply unbelievable. Seeing the old appearance of Red Wolf, all the beautiful heroes couldn't help but scream. That beauty doesn't care about her appearance, that girl doesn't want to stay young forever. Stay young forever. What they fear most is not death, but disfigurement and aging. Wanda, this invention is really terrible. I couldn't believe it, how could I accept that I suddenly looked so old? Female Spider-Man, even a beautiful woman like Red Wolf looks like this after aging. Aging is really scary. Natasha Romanoff, my focus is different from yours. I'm wondering, now that the red wolf has become like this, will the gray wolf still love her consistently? Natasha Romanoff's statement aroused curiosity in the hearts of all the beauty heroes. And at the moment Shield headquarters. Looking at the scene on the light screen, Nick Fury's already dark face became even more gloomy. Maybe his dark complexion is because he is always in a gloomy mood, which affects his complexion. Nick Fury's only remaining eye was full of solemnity. Aging potion. How on earth could such an unrealistic thing be invented? This is too scary. This big big wolf can release the aging potion through cumulonimbus clouds, which is equivalent to launching a large-scale attack. If in the real world, someone were to cause damage in this way, the impact would be unimaginable. Ron. They must let them investigate how many things Ron has obtained from his past life. According to other people's experience, it is impossible to completely obtain everything in the previous life. At the moment above the light curtain, looking at the aging and disfigured red wolf in front of him, Grey Wolf was shocked, but there was no trace of disgust on his face. Honey, come home with me. I will definitely find an antidote. The next second, Grey Wolf directly picked up Red Wolf and ran towards Wolf Castle. As soon as the screen turned, it had switched to Yankun. Only a huge amounts of laboratory appeared above the light curtain. Various advanced scientific research equipment are placed in the room. Two figures are conducting scientific research in the laboratory. 
It is the pleasant goat and the slow goat. Seeing the two of them in the laboratory at the moment, the eyes of all the superheroes lit up. These two sheep are very lucky. They happened to be in the laboratory and were not attacked by Mr. Big Wolf's aging potion. But those lambs shouldn't be so lucky. Above the light curtain, Pleasant Goat and Slow Goat put down the experimental equipment in their hands and immediately walked towards the door. As soon as I opened the door and saw the scene in front of me, the two sheep immediately stood there. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe my channel.